Alright, this is going to be a slightly different video in the fact that it's going to show how to get the T-51B power armor and not a weapon. But in order to get this armor, you have to complete a quest called You Gotta Shoot Him in the Head, which involves killing four people and bringing back their special key to this guy called Mr. Crowley who is located here at the Museum of History which should be a familiar place if you've watched my Deacon's Repeater vid but if you haven't uh, to save time for this video I'm gonna ask that you watch that one on the details of how to get here because it tells you so without further ado once you get to the Museum of History you're gonna go into this door door to museum of history entrance another thing is that because this quest is long because you have to kill four people it is not hard but it's not short so I'm not going to show it because the instructions are given it's very simple so I'm just going to show you where to go which is here in underworld to get the quest from Mr. Crowley and then I'm con con going to continue after you've killed all the four people so you're going to go into this door, door to underworld concourse. Now Mr. Crowley can be in one of two places. He can either be here, which is where he usually is, but he's sometimes not. He's usually in here, Carol's place. So when you get in here, just look for someone called Mr. Crowley. So he's not. So the other place he is in is over here, called the Ninth Circle. And there he is. So you want to go ahead and talk to him? What are you looking at? You think you never? So you're just gonna keep agreeing with him and get his quest he wanted to do. And if you shoot him in the head, like the quest said, you gotta shoot him in the head, you get more money when you come back to him. It bring Bye. So there's the quest, and that's what you have to talk to. Alright, so once you have all four keys, you can return to Underworld and talk to Mr. Crowley again. Now it's usually at Carol's place, so I'm going to take the right stairs, go up, push this gun. Let's go to Carol's place. And is he here? Yes, he is. Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? So, just keep telling him all the people are dead. And then, when you say you have to go, he's going to tell you that he's about to go to Fort Constantine. Well, he almost says it. Yes, they're all dead. And I have the keys. The keys to them. Are you Basically, still here? once you do that, you just... Go ahead and kill him. And take all the keys back for yourself. Then you're going to leave Underworld. And you're going to leave the Museum of History as well.
All right, now once you get outside, you're gonna fast travel to Fort Constantine. And again, there's no real easy way to get here. So if you don't have any of these places, just head to this region of the map and you should fight for Constantine. So once you get to Fort Constantine, you're going to look for this shack here. And the door should read, door to CO quarters. Alright, so once inside, you're going to go this way. Make a left into the basement. And another bonus is that there's a Big guns bottle head in the basement. Instead, that opens safe with some bottle caps. But you want to go to this door and use Ted Stringer's key. And then go straight to door to launch control bunker. So you're just going to go this way. Make a left down there. Come this way. Open this gate. Go through this door. Make a left. Go through this door. To get in here, make a right. Go down here. Make another right. Go through here. Go this way. Make a left. Go down this set of stairs again. Make a right to this door. And once you get in here, we're gonna head down these stairs to that door. Door to bomb storage. And for that, you use Dukov's key. Then you're gonna open this door. And once you're here, this hot, very hard room has some guns. This one has ammo, or it could be the other way around. So then, but where you really want to go is over to where this dead female raider is. Her name is Tara. Search her and she'll have a warhead storage key. So take that. And then use that key to open this door. Actually, no. And you open this door. And right there is the T-51B power armor. And to the left of it is a fat man. Two mini nukes in a DC journal of internal medicine. But this is the real prize, so go over and activate the armor R&D terminal. Disable stasis field. And then take the armor. And now you have it. And as you can see, I'm already wearing it, but it comes in perfect condition. And out of all armors, it has the highest damage reduction and highest spread resist and the helmet gives your charisma plus one but the only downfall to this armor is that it cannot be repaired using your repair skill only people that can repair it are merchants or whatever because it is considered a quest item but it is really good and it looks really cool. And that's it. And to whoever requested this, say I think safe reductions. I hope that helped. And rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, fellas.